Hey everyone, what's up? How are ya? Hope you're fine. My name is Anya. I've been doing gaming videos so far, but currently I uh, I don't know what to play. So uh, while uh, I'm figuring out, or no, not figuring out, <laughs> I'm looking for a game that I want to play, I'm gonna buy myself some more time and do some uh, reaction videos to uh, creepy shit as well as to funny shit. If you want to know more um, about my motivations to as to why I'm doing this, watch the intro of my uh, other video. The um, well, I'm not sure about the title yet, but I think it's going to be called "Let's Laugh Together" or something similar. So check out that intro. I just recorded that, fucking ten minutes long. <laughs> gonna have to cut out a whole lot. Because while I want to focus on laughter a whole lot because of anxiety and feeling bad and shit Well, I'm kind of a fucked up person and uh, as long as I'm not too anxious I also like to freak myself out because hey the world isn't scary enough, you know <laughs> But that's no, that's the kind of scary. I don't want to deal with I like dealing with other kinds of scary the uh, Whatever paranormal, supernatural, whatever. I don't know. I mean, I believe in a whole lot of I believe in a whole lot of stuff, but so far I could never be convinced that somebody really caught something paranormal or whatsoever on camera. So, let's see if we can find something that convinces me or just kind of freaks me out. I know there's a whole lot of cool short films on uh, YouTube that are really creepy. I've seen two or three and damn it, I nearly shat my pants. <laughs> I haven't seen a good horror movie in a long time. I've watched a whole lot of horror movies in my life, but somehow, I don't know, either I haven't been watching the right ones any, um, the right ones, or they just don't make them like that anymore, or maybe I'm just not as easy to scare anymore, you know? I mean, sure, I, I, I get scared from jump scares, just like everyone, you know, normal reactions, but I also like just, you know, creepy atmosphere, spooky, creepy, yeah, atmosphere or music or just, you know, this this feeling creeping up on you. Never mind, I'm doing way too much talking. Let's just jump into it and see where it leads to. Okay? So, uh, yeah, make yourself come to... to uh, <laughs> um, make yourself comfortable. Get, I don't know, get something to drink, to eat, to cuddle up to. Wait, where's my hair? I got my my special pillow, you know. <laughs> when I watch creepy shit, I always have this pillow so I can cover my uh, cover my eyes or just peek peek over it or just go like that. But then I smear my makeup, which I usually don't wear when I'm watching shit by myself. So um yeah, and um oh, and another reason I got a hair in my eye. Another reason I'm doing this is um I have watched, as I also explained in the other intro, I have watched tons of people reacting to tons of shit and it always made me feel less alone. So uh, I want to contribute to that because, I mean, these last two years have been very, very, very taxing to a whole lot of people. And uh, in Germany, this whole bullshit is not over yet, unfortunately, and I don't think it will end that soon. So if there's, and even if that that is not the problem for you, if you feel alone and you want to watch some creepy shit and you don't want to do it alone, just watch along or watch someone else. I mean, as I said, there's tons of people reacting to tons of shit, and uh, I've found great entertainment in that, and. Uh, yeah, I want to contribute to that as I already said and watch some funny shit. Nope, that was the wrong one. <laughs> watch some creepy ass, stupid, whatever shit with you guys. So, yeah, let's do that, huh? All right, let's go then. All right, now everything is nice and dark and spooky, so let's get going. This top 10 list has scary videos of creepy stuff caught on camera. So get ready to analyze weird things that are horrifying, 
like ghost sightings on paranormal investigations huh. and other scary things gone wrong. Oh God. This story Dolls. video has caught some strange. I know some of you might be really annoyed by me pausing, but A, I hate talking over videos, and B, uh, you know, copyrights and shit, and I, I know that some YouTubers have hell of a lot of problems with uploading their videos unless they don't pause a hundred thousand times, so, uh, uh, what was I gonna say? Oh yeah, dolls. Jesus, dolls scared the shit out of me. I had a grandmother, my, my grandfather, uh, my grandfather, my, I was gonna say my grandmother on my father's side, she collected dolls, you know, there was a whole lot of old dolls with the porcelain heads and the, the weird expression, not, not weird expressions, they just look so fucking creepy, They're old and creepy dolls. Ugh, so well, let's, let's see what's gonna happen here. Strange things on camera at the Benton County Museum in Philomath, Oregon, an unsettling place filled with haunted and cursed oddities. I find museums, or not all museums, but some museums can be really creepy too, don't you think? This, the, the atmosphere, you know, all these old things, it's like, uh, I always ask myself, what would these people that I don't know the pictures are that, that that pictures are the people whose pictures are hanging there or belongings are are in the museum you know what would they think if they knew that idiots like us nowadays are going into museums and looking at their shit and you know are amazed by it or or whatever you know just react to it would they have ever imagined something like that? Like, are, will our stuff be in museums one day? Like, oh, look, this is an old computer, or this is an old car, or, or this is, an, I don't know, an old cooking pot. That's how people used to cook, you know? Like, because maybe in a couple of years, people don't cook anymore. They just, I don't know, attach a cable to their neck and download food from the internet or the metaverse or some kind of crazy ass shit like that. What do I know? What do we know? Ugh, everything's become so weird. If this creepy video clip of a supposedly real paranormal experience is to be believed. Creepy dolls. Mm -hmm. The paranormal tour guide is talking about all the scary things in the museum's collection when some weird stuff happens that creeps everyone out. When they talk about the two creepy dolls in this collection, the doll wearing a white dress uh. seemingly moves all by itself. And in these scary moments caught on camera is a possible ghost orb dropping behind the back of one of the paranormal investigators. But the strangest thing... I don't really believe in orbs. I think that's specks of dust or something <laughs> i don't know i had in all the all the videos i've made i uh, when i was uh, playing blair witch um blair witch um i had an orb on on my left side it wasn't when i started the video the video or the recording i i i edited that out but i wish i I'm not sure if I kept the episode. I hope I hope I did because I I don't know what to think of orbs. I mean, I, but I think I think there's logical explanations for most of it, and just because we can't explain it logically doesn't mean there isn't a logical explanation. We just haven't found it yet. Of all, aside from the doll moving by itself upon mention, is how another white light seemingly flies across okay, the table that into the toy doll in the mm. moments that it moves. If that's a bug, then that is one creepy coincidence. And if it's not, then these moments are horrifying. Number nine. A short and scary video clip has the internet freaking out because uh -huh. if real, then this encounter is one of the creepiest things caught on camera in a long time. And maybe even a genuine ghost video. Aww. 
I would love After to exploring swimming. a water tunnel, no. a woman turns around in reaction to a scary feeling of unexplained dread. That's when some life-changingly scary moments are caught on camera underwater. A large object... Couldn't that have been a fish or turtle or something? <laughs> ...moves towards her quickly. Something caught up in the fast-moving currents. Not a fish or any other underwater creature, but... How does he know it's not a fish? He wasn't there. But an unknown person. Black hair, no what? shirt, face down. What? Where does he see a person? Where does he see black hair or any hair at all? Where, where does he see hair? And not even moving their arms as they eerily sink back below. The woman who had this experience later believed this was paranormal video footage because she did not see anything in the water at the time. Just a weird, haunting feeling that made her check the- Maybe it was just some kind of reflection. I mean, we all know how water um, can, can trick your visual senses, right? When you put a ruler and you stick a ruler in the water, it looks totally bent and, and stuff like that. So, eh, eh, not buying into Only the when she reviewed the monster. Footage did she realize this could have been a real ghost caught on camera? Do you think? Why would a ghost swim? I mean, why would a ghost swim if 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 it's been a ghost, it would be hovering over the water? Or am I seeing that wrong? Interpret interpreting it wrong? Do you think ghosts go swimming? I mean, for me, ghosts, or is, is it just a semantics thing? For me, ghosts is some, is a, is a ghost is something that appears and, and hovers or floats in air, but it wouldn't go swimming. Their evidence is proof of the paranormal, or is this scary video being faked <coughs> by a friend pretending to be a ghost? Hopefully, it's the second explanation, because that is some extremely scary stuff, if real. Doesn't look eight. anyway human in any way some creepy me. things were caught on camera during a paranormal exploration in victor colorado outside of a supposedly haunted place known only as the ghost house the ghost hunters get scared when a curtain moves by itself without explanation the uh draft ever heard of wind window itself is closed which they find mysterious Dude, come to my house. Check out the draft I have going right here when um, when it's windy outside because my windows don't close properly. It's a fucking old house and you get one hell of a draft and I have a curtain hanging in my door and once it gets really stormy outside, that curtain is fluttering in the wind and it's giving me heart attacks because, you know, I'm sitting here and all of a sudden there's all this noise and curtain and it's fucking cold. Sorry. Strangest of all is when this flap of material moves towards them at 36 seconds. If this was from a draft in the window frame, then shouldn't it be flapping the opposite way? Not if the wind is coming from the opposite direction. If it's coming from the other side of the house, that depends on where the wind is coming from. Which you can't tell from, you know. But I would say the wind is coming from the other side and, and going through the house. Meanwhile, the drawn curtains in an adjacent room of the ghost house are not moving at all. That doesn't say anything. Maybe there's just a draft in that one room and the other one is closed off, you know? Or there's no opening. <sighs> Which only makes the paranormal investigators all the more freaked out. No, never mind. Is this not paranormal gonna say evidence of a spooky ghost caught on camera? Not for place. me. And if not, then what is the real explanation behind this strange and mysterious video footage? Number seven. I stay with wind. I stay with wind. I stay with the explanation. Oh, never mind. Oh God, <laughs> my brain's going again. In this scary video, 
Creepy stuff was caught on camera during a spooky paranormal investigation of a supposedly haunted house where weird things had gone wrong. The paranormal investigators set up camera equipment to capture any paranormal activity on tape late at night, and strange things are caught on video at around 3 a.m. While the homeowner sleeps, an unseen force pulls the blanket from her body, and as she tries to reclaim it, the ghost keeps pulling it away from her. In the mm. same room. Sorry, <laughs> I just can't help myself, but just looking at it like that, um, I, the blanket looks all lumped over here, lumped together, so natu naturally this part is a whole lot heavier, and as it's kind of hovering over the edge of the sofa, it's going to fall down at some point. homeowner sleeps, Wait, let's... an unseen force pulls the blanket from her body. Mm, okay, okay, tried... okay, that... Hmm. Okay. Something... Something has to get the pull started. Hmm, but that can be done with... I don't know, maybe he's shoving it. Or, or it... someone's pulling a... a... An unseen Let me force see. pulls the blanket from her body. Somebody might be pulling down here, or, you know, on a string, or... There might be strings attached. No, sorry, I'm not buying into it. <laughs> and as she tries to reclaim it, the ghost keeps pulling it away from her. In the and same room... At some point it just fell. Another camera equipped with night vision has caught these scary moments. The lights turn on by themselves, and the door opens and closes on its own. But was this bizarre... Somebody might be in there turning on the light, opening the door. Come on, show me. Only if I see nothing, I might believe you. Our footage being faked by someone hiding off camera and moving objects around? Or exactly. is this spooky place haunted by a real ghost? Number six. Sorry, I have to pause again. See, the thing is. When I was a kid, I was very, very, very gullible. Well, actually, up way into my 20s and I think even 30s, maybe. I'm not quite sure, but I, I would believe everything. And at some point, I kind of fell into the opposite. I was like, why am I letting myself be fooled by everything and everyone? So now I'm at this point, it's like, nope, I don't believe anything unless you can really convince me at least in this area you know it's my beliefs are different <laughs> for everything on 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 other levels i can imagine anything you know nothing really surprises me anymore on on some levels like politically or human wise you know there's things people do ugh, i don't even want to imagine them but they happen. But ghost-wise, or, or paranormal-wise, yeah, so much is possible nowadays with with uh, c computers and, and, and um, uh, what's it called? Um, come on. CGI, right. And, and everything in that area, you know, you can... I once saw a video about... Um, Oh god, it, it was in Russian. <laughs> Some Russian ghost hunter showing, or actually somebody, I think, debunking ghost hunters on how easy it is to um, make tracks he, in, in flour. He put some flour on a table, and then he made little tracks into them or something of the sort, and then he showed how you have to film it and apply everything in some special program, and how real it looked as if something had made, was, was something invisible was walking through the tracks, something like that. It's been a couple of years, and yeah, ever since then, you know, I don't buy into shit anymore. <laughs> I would like to. I mean, everything lost, I, I lost a whole lot of fun and creepiness factor in everything, but, uh. This frightening footage was caught on video 
during a paranormal investigation gone wrong at a jail in Arizona said to be haunted. With their ghost hunting equipment all set up, the paranormal playground team is ready to begin exploring this place for supernatural entities. I set up a flashlight over there on the ground. If you want us to leave, After nearly half a minute of static, a ghostly male voice says that they've got a hold of the flashlight, which then turns mm. off by itself. The creeped out ghost mm. hunters obey the ghost's request to turn off the flashlight. But that is, I, I've seen that in multiple videos, and that is something I'm not quite sure how they do it. But I'm sure if you're a. Uh... What 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 to call it? You know, if you're somebody who knows, who knows there's stuff with electricity. I'm sure there's ways to prepare these things that maybe they're remote controlled or have some kind of I don't know something in the circuit that makes it go on and off randomly. You no, know, that's me. <laughs> Something like that? I don't know. But I'm sure there's ways to mess around with, with these flashlights. Was this paranormal video real <laughs> or somehow faked? Number five. The Blinden, Georgia Paranormal Investigation Team go exploring an old abandoned house to see what paranormal activity they can get on camera. And the scary stuff they find in the house in the forest haunts them to this day. Standing outside of the supposedly haunted home, they hear communications with a ghost named Emma and think there's a faint click at the door at 52 seconds into the scary video. But the spirit box makes it hard to hear. Spirit boxes. Yeah, that's something that's, well, kind of new for me that I only came across I think last year or maybe the year before watching these videos I didn't know that there were these kind of things and uh, I really don't know what to make of them because from the way that I understand that they function they go through the, or they they go through um, oh god what is it called I can't think of the English word. I'm not sure of the German word right now as well, but I think don't, don't they kind of pick up like radio stations or radio wavelength, radio signals, something of the sort. So practically if I take a radio and I channel through the thingy, isn't that the, the same? And to be honest, I think those sounds are creepy all by themselves. Hmm. Yeah. But when the unexplained Ow. noise repeats, all of them can hear it. You like what they've done to your house? Was this a real ghost video of Emma's I, spiritual what, 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 entity what manifesting noise? itself behind the door? Creepy stuff, if true. Number four. Oh my god, this we're... Strange we're only a number four. I've been, I feel like I've been talking for half an hour. <laughs> Video shows some scary stuff that happens to an item that does some weird stuff they cannot explain. Okay, so the Kindle keeps moving. We are not in the room. There's nothing on the Kindle. We set it there. Hard off. It's off and everything. And we set it on the. After they leave, the object is caught moving on its own until it's all the way to the other side of the table. Vibrations, maybe? Depending on where, they're li where they live, maybe there's heavy buses going by, because I have that... Um, I've had trucks go by that made the... the um, um, my cupboard, the cupboards in my kitchen kind of make noise. And sometimes you don't necessarily hear something go by, but there's just the vibration. So maybe, why do I always <laughs> have to?
talk so much when I'm trying to. Uh, never mind. Let's let's go on. And definitely onto the weird side of YouTube as well. And eventually, mm. the object does fall off the table and clatter onto the floor. There's a creepy paranormal backstory to this video as well. In the description on this YouTube video, they say that while they were reviewing the footage. Okay, wait. Uh, let's read that. So weird things. Weird is spelled E I, sweetheart. So weird things always happen in our house, but this time we caught it on tape. My sister put my mom's Amazon Kindle down on the nightstand and came back and realized that it had somehow moved. We got out our video camera and decided to tape it and see how it moved. So we set it up and left the room and went to the other side of the house. Eight minutes later we heard a big thump and got the video camera to see what happened. I put it in fast forward because it was kind of a long video. But I like to share it. It gets really freaky around 101. When our dog watched it she was growling at the screen. Freaky. Okay, animals is always another, another story. You know, when animals stare into corners and stuff like that, that's really creepy. The Although there might be sounds there here. Never mind, that's a whole different topic. Moving. We'll Their get to it. The dog started barking at the screen like it was seeing a ghost. This spooky ghost video is from 2012. So does anyone remember if Kindles had a vibrate feature? Mm -hmm. If so, that might explain how they were able to make it look like it. I don't have a Kindle. I don't know anything about Kindle. This object was moving on its own. Number three. But I know I once watched a creepy video about a museum. I think, was it a museum in England? The, um, where they had a little bust, I think, or a sculpture, maybe this big, in a, in a um, thingy. <sighs> you know what I mean, right? It was standing in the museum in a fucking thingy on a shelf there you go god damn it and um it would vibrate and kind of jump and turn around itself and uh, that was because of what i think it was either buses going by or the the railway underground yeah i just wanted to mention that just popped into my head Oh God, I think I, I don't want to know how long this video will be. <laughs> this creepy doorbell camera video has caught some weird stuff to creep everybody out. An entity that the uploader calls a white ghost mist forming on the porch out of nowhere. Unlike most CCTV videos of this type, which are usually a bug, this eerie entity seems to appear into a white light that grows more solid over time instead of crawling across the screen. By three minutes and six seconds, the column of light has filled out to roughly the size and shape of a possible ghost child. Reflection? Or was this a bug caught on camera after all? Number two. Or a bug, yeah. <laughs> I, honestly, I didn't really see that much. I mean, it would be interesting to know if it appears at different times during the day or at the same time during the day because depending on where the sun is you know maybe it's just a reflection that would be the simplest explanation to me has filled <laughs> out to roughly the size and shape of a possible ghost child or was this a bug caught on camera after all number two a weird video from Grip Paranormal has caught some creepy stuff in a home said to be haunted. A cabinet door opens by itself, and there doesn't seem to be enough room for someone to be hiding off camera with a string to make it open by itself. Was this a ghost caught on camera? Maybe there's someone in the closet or cabinet or whatever it was called. Door opens by itself. Some creepy stuff in a home said to be haunted. A cabinet door opens by itself. Well, that could be um, maybe because the door is not adjusted properly to the cabinet. I have... And there doesn't seem to be enough room for someone to be hiding off camera with a string to make it open by itself. 
Was this a ghost caught on camera, opening the cabinet door like they suspect? Or is there another explanation? Number one. In these scary videos, ghost hunter Kenneth Flood goes exploring an allegedly haunted house for paranormal activity, which he might have caught on camera while investigating the creepy old basement. Weird things happen after he turns on a light and leaves as a paranormal experiment. After a few moments, scary stuff unfolds when the basement light turns on by itself, which could be paranormal activity, says the ghost hunter because the only way to turn this light on is by pulling on a drawstring. But the creepiest Wait, of all is the mysterious figure under the light I was listening, I was absent-minded, sorry. It could be a mannequin or a painting, but a light turning on by itself next to either of those things is some scary stuff to consider. Uh, what is it called? A, a, a motion? Motion detector? Is that it? When you walk through it, it uh, makes the light turn on by itself? Maybe that's what it is? Later, while recording an area of the house where scary knocking sounds and other tapping noises come from, this bizarre white light anomaly travels up the wall. What kind of strange things are caught on camera during this creepy clip? Okay, that light was kind of weird, so that was e either done intentionally or some kind of really weird reflection. I often get during the daytime I get reflections from um, um, you can see my windows right and over on the other side of these windows a couple of I don't know how many meters it's quite a bit but there's other houses outside and when people open their windows and the Sun is shining on the windows I get light streaks flashing over my walls and the first times I noticed those it scared the shit out of me because I didn't know where, where that was coming from but meanwhile I've gotten used to it or during the night sometimes if a car drives past and turns I also get light on my walls so maybe that's that or something similar some reflection or intentionally and is it possible to fake a ghost video like this using a laser pointer? Oh sure, I've had somebody... Jeez, that was creepy, actually, now that he mentions it. I had... When was that? I think that was four or five years ago. All of a sudden there was this green shit on my wall with somebody trying out a laser pointer. But I was sitting here doing something, watching something, and all of a sudden there's this green light on my wall. Jeez, that... In creeped me out the first moment. That was quite a jump scare until I realized, like, what? what? You know, it looks like a laser pointer. Oh, jeez. They know how to set up an Xbox Connect to catch a ghost. And with the motion detection equipment in place, they soon record a video of more paranormal evidence when a figure appears in front of them. Honestly, I don't know anything about these programs. I've seen them as well on some of the videos, and I would like to know what what do they measure you know what that these little figures appear i find it kind of cute it's like oh look a little stick ghost stick figure ghost but i don't know what to really think of it as you, you know that can you put any trust into these programs or do they just do their best to make some little figure appear so that you are happy as, or I, you know, as, as a watcher? And don't know what to make of it. <laughs> Oops. Put your hand on top of my hand. Oh, you're right. Oh, you know, came close. Step to towards us one more time. There you go. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you're like almost there. Just got the thing right in front of you. Yeah, apparently. Right there. Yeah, I would prefer right. to right see... On. Were they detecting the paranormal presence of a real ghost? Or was this a camera glitch? Creepy stuff, if true. I would have preferred to see the, the person approaching that stick figure in, in, in the room. So, wait, what is he saying? Thanks for watching. Be sure to hit that like button and subscribe for more of everything Bill knows. Yeah. We'll give him a like nonetheless, even though I have to admit I wasn't really scared or creeped out or anything. But then it's been a while that I have been by these videos, yet I still really like to watch them because uh, I like to try to d d 
debunk them or you know try to find a logical explanation kind of like a party pooper <laughs> spoiling the party for me and everyone watching it <laughs> but uh, well I'm having fun I hope you guys are as well I'm gonna shut up now maybe I'll talk less in the uh, in the following videos because I've said everything in this one <laughs> So, you guys, thanks for watching. I hope you had fun because I don't think you were spooked or you might not have been spooked because I was talking way too much for any atmosphere to start building. <laughs> um, have a great day or a great night and see you in the next video. Okay, bye.